and we're just going to give you a walkthrough on our two different types of uh, equipment we have from the state of California. Uh, one being what's called the type 6 apparatus and one being a type 1 apparatus. The one we're going to cover first is the type 6. The type 6 is a smaller vehicle. It only has 300 gallons of water on it. It's meant to go uh, more places than uh, the type 1 engines. It can go off-road, four-wheel drive. Last year was our first year with these uh, the pieces of equipment and we went on several strike teams where we were probably off the road more than we were on the road. Um, we can get into places where you would never even think a fire engine could get to. Um, so walking around these engines, the cab is meant, we go with three people uh, on these uh, deployments and you can see how tight the space is. We could go from San Francisco to San Diego, we could go to Montana, we can go to Oregon and it's pretty tight because not only is the equipment on the rig, but also all the stuff we have to live with down there. Our, our 10 days worth of clothes, uh, beverages and things like that to keep us going. So walking around the rig, uh, these are kind of a do-all type apparatus, okay? They, they just don't fight fires. This is extrication equipment. We could come across um, a collapsed building. We could come across a car accident. Uh, and these types of, you've heard of the jaws of life. These are now battery pack, uh, jaws of life if you will we can cut things spread things tear things get through pretty much everything and I, I did want to preface these rigs are not only sent on wildland fires these rigs could be sent on earthquakes they could be sent on uh, floods we've gone on floods before these are a dual type of uh, apparatus the other key thing to know is when OES gives us these uh, rigs they have a minimum amount of equipment on them and the equipment stays in the same compartments so if we go up to a fire in um, Yuba City, when Yuba City opens a compartment, it should be the same thing in the same place for all these rigs uh, by the state. These are what are called our hose packs. These are meant to be deployed if we get to a spot and we have to go out to get to the fire. These hose packs, we carry about a thousand feet of it where we can start off the back and go a thousand feet out to catch the fire, okay? If we can't drive to it. Um, then there's just various tools, nozzles, fittings that we have to have in order to get um, these fires out. We have suction hose, which is meant to hook to a hydrant or another piece of equipment that can give us water. Back here we have the pump, and this pump, uh, there's two different pumps on here. One is a main pump and one is an auxiliary pump. So we can be stationary fighting fire, or we can actually be mobile moving the rig and driving and fighting fire. We have a, a small ladder with some tools. If we had to fight a house fire, we have tools in order to do our job inside the house. This is our storage for equipment that goes down with us, our, our four or three bags that go with us. We have a, I told you about a progressive hose lay. This 200 feet of hose can go off the rig and start, and then the packs get put on like they showed you previously. And those packs allow us to go farther and farther. And we can just keep on going, but this is the main artery of this uh, pumper is the pump. This is what gets us our water. Right? We have various hand tools and these hand tools allow us to put out fires on the ground. There's, um, we call it cutting line or scratching line. As a fire is, is burning, we can have what is called uh, a bladder bag. It carries water on the back. A person will go out with a sprayer, start to knock the fire down, and then the hand crew comes in and they have um, McLeod's, Pulaski's, they have these scraping tools that can dig into dirt and actually cut a line to contain the fire. It's all manual labor. There's no, there's no assistance except your two hands, your two legs, and a lot of uh, uh, will and gut. So that's what that is there. Then we also have a medical bag. Every time we send out a strike team in San Francisco, if we send five of the type sixes, one of the rigs has to have a paramedic on board. And we all know paramedics they're the ones that have uh, a higher degree of medical expertise that can save a life without being in an emergency room. Uh, main thing here is the cooler. We go through, we get dehydrated really quick at these fires. Okay, when we're going up and down hills and there's a ratio, we used to just pound Gatorades, pound waters. Now we try to limit the Gatorades. We do water, two waters to one Gatorade just to keep our electrolytes off because you, you can get really sick when you're out in the field. Dehydrated, heat stroke, heat exhaustion. We also have a drip torch. I don't know if they showed you the drip torch, but we can actually go to a fire and if the conditions present itself correctly, we can actually put fire on the ground to consume fuel so it will stop the spread of the fire. 
but the conditions have to be correct. There have been fire fatalities where these have been put down, the wind changes. And as we know with the wildland fire, there's three things that make a wildland fire go. Fuel, weather, and topography. If you take one away, they, they, they don't continue. We also have generators that we can take and pump water with. We have chainsaws that we can cut trees down, we can get into houses, whatever we need to do. Last year when we were at the Quincy fire, we were blocked on a road by falling trees and we had to get a couple of our rigs out to go out and actually cut the trees so we could proceed. We also have a uh, hard suction hose. If we come up, sometimes if you see it with the news and everything, you'll see these orange like, like hot tubs, uh, they call them uh, pumpkins. They get filled with water by water tenders. And if we run out of water, we drive to these water uh, tanks hook up our hose and we can supply our engine so we don't have to find a fire hydrant because sometimes out in the wildland there are no fire hydrants okay so these rigs are meant to go everywhere they can go off-road they can four-wheel and we took them places again that you would never even think a, a rig could go and that's why these are called type sixes smaller water tank more maneuverability four-wheel drive and they can pretty much do everything at, at a, at a uh, smaller level So this here is what is called a type one fire engine. Again, it's, it's owned by the state of California and the firefighters from the city of San Francisco staff these engines. This goes out with four people on board. This used to be the cream of the crop on all the strike teams until we were able to get the type sixes. So we were kind of limited to when we went on on these strike teams about getting places. These are meant for what you would call your urban interface fires. The one that was just in um, Luna Niguel down in uh, Southern California, the type sixes would have been overpowered by the amount of fire. You have a big fire, you need big water. That has a 300 gallon tank. These have 750 gallon water tanks. So there's 750 gallons of water just to start with before anything happens. If we come across a house fire, this fire engine can do wildland, structure firefighting, it, it can do it all, okay? Um, only thing is, when you travel down to Southern California or you go up to the Oregon border, it's really tight space to sit in these things for eight hours, okay? One more key point to these apparatus that are owned by the state of California. They have a specific inventory of a minimum inventory that has to be on these. Every rig that is out in the state of California has that equipment. So if we go somewhere and we open up the left side compartment next to the driver, it has to have the same equipment, okay? There could be added stuff, but there has to be a minimum amount of equipment so we know if we have to pull something off, it's the same with everybody, which is, it's actually very difficult to do, but we have to do it. So we have a bunch of water tools. We have shovels, axes, flat head and pick headed. We have uh, a bunch of structure firefighting because if we were to go out today and say we were to get sent to Los Angeles and we were just going there to cover their firehouses because they had a major wildland fire, we have hoes that fight structure fire and we also have hoes that fights wildland fire. So we, we can do it all, okay? This is the pump panel where all the water gets pushed from. This is all the different equipment that has to intermix with different cities. San Francisco is unique because our hydrants are three inch and has a specific thread so when we go out, we have to have different threads for hydrants that match everywhere else. Vice versa, when someone comes into the city, we give them a bag of jewelry, which is what we call it, and they're able to hook up to those hydrants. In the Oakland Hills fire, uh, in 91, when they had the Hills fire, they had a problem with that because nobody had the connections. We've already fixed that. Uh, various equipment. Again, key compartment is the water and Gatorade because you get dehydrated really quick. 